is your brother alive? <laughs> Do you have a brother? Okay, well, I mean, that's that's cool. I don't, <laughs> weird, I don't care. But anyway, we're going to see some humans being bros. So even if you don't have one, maybe you can live vicariously through these ones and these actions and imitate what it would be like. Though it never would, they would always hate you because you aren't good enough. Let's get into it. I hope you enjoy. This kid right here, uh, he's just got a little rash. That's the only thing wrong with him. The the guy in the Superman uniform, on the other hand, has terminal four cancer. Just it's just so that we're all clear. As you can see, the kid, kind of a sore loser, won't even let him win one. But you know, it, it is the way it is. I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah, he's kind of a big deal around town. That's why uh, Superman here wanted to go see him. That's so much hair. What? It's like a stegosaurus. Why don't they wear gloves? Why are there some professions where, where the, the people that are professionals just don't like wear gloves ever? Do they just like being dirty? Is that what that is? Is that just some weird? She's even got a ring on. Like, what? I don't get that, man. She doesn't even want to wear gloves. Like, I just, I, I, maybe I'm a, like a clean freak. Or I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I think she's disgusting. I think the dog is disgusting. I don't want to ever touch it with my bare hands. I think it's great to help it at all. I really, I do. I do. I honestly think it's so great to help this dog and not put it down even though one would probably be a bit faster great bro helps a stingray mm, that's a bummer you know what i don't think i have it in me to help a stingray bro it doesn't deserve it bro it's just gonna fight it's just gonna hurt you all they can do is bring you pain you know what they did i don't know i'd have probably like grabbed a rock or something dropped it on it <laughs> i would have probably left it alone i probably wouldn't have done anything i would have looked at it i've been like whoa starfish and then i would have walked away smart solid call good work Ooh, now he's on the other side of the road so now we're good uh they catch the dog maybe who knows who knows i'm not gonna show you so you'll never know you'll never know do they catch the dog does it die i don't know i mean it's humans being bros it should live but mm, we don't know we don't know we don't know excavator operator saves a pup why are they always saving animals i want to see some more kids with terminal cancer please <laughs> man gives up piano to child prodigy not that good i don't mean to like call him out or anything but jude was missing a few notes i mean look at his tempo Turned out. see that what was that what was that he couldn't even hit the c i just think it's the, it's good to be honest and i think like calling him a genius is is pushing it a little bit too far i mean maybe now he's pretty good right like maybe now he's all right but <sighs> genius kind of pushing it. i feel like i'm being mean to all of these people am i doing that on purpose am i reflecting am i projecting my own jealousy and my own sadness onto these animals and people being bros the answer is yes. And after seeing our story, Bill reached out and said he wanted to buy Jude a piano. They say that if you got enough monkeys, eventually one of them would write Shakespeare. By that same logic, if I fiddle around on a piano for a long enough time and record myself doing it, eventually I will not only develop a terminal illness due to my overindulgence of the piano and doing absolutely nothing else, but I will also at some point, maybe hopefully before I die, create Bach or Beethoven or Mozart. So I'm just saying I've got potential. A doctor saved the life of a girl who almost choked to death Egypt. That sounds like a bummer. Don't really want all that. <laughs> Big sister stops forklift to make sure younger siblings are out of the way. So she, what happens is she picks up the forklift. She throws it about 10,000 feet in the air. And then she says, yo, not chill, bro. And then she signals out. She throws up W's, tells her, her homies, her brothers, to uh, escape via the left. And then they head out. And then about two seconds later, the excavator falls, but she catches it, so it's chill. Uh, moving on. That's so cute.